Hey everyone, John here for AZ Concealed Carry. Today's review is going to be of the Beretta Nano, or more accurately known as the Beretta BU9 Nano. The BU standing for built in the US, the 9 being of course because the Nano is chambered in 9mm. Uh, it comes in this hard plastic case. When you open it up, you've got the firearm which comes with one 6 round magazine inserted. Okay along with a second six round magazine both magazines stainless steel you've got the uh, mandatory lock here up here you've got the owner's manual or the instruction manual and the warranty card and it also comes with this little cup here and at first I wasn't sure what this was for but after reviewing some of the pictures in the manual uh, they provide this so you'll have a universal location to store all of the small components of the firearm uh, whether it be disassembling it for uh, or field stripping it for cleaning or a more thorough stripping you know uh, or disassembly of the firearm or if you are replacing the frame uh, with the nano um, the internal chassis is removable and as you can see the serial number is actually on the internal stainless steel chassis and not the frame they offer four different frame options uh, that you can purchase directly from their website uh, they have it in black, OD green, flat dark earth, or a bright hot pink. Um, it's pretty straightforward and easy to replace. And they're not expensive at all. I believe they're somewhere around $20 since it's just the basic polymer frame with uh, nothing else. Um, I will eventually be getting the OD green one. Uh, and I'll make a video on how to replace that once I have that. Some of the basic features, the slide and barrel are black nitrite finish. The um, chassis, as I mentioned, is stainless steel, and the chassis, along with all of the major springs inside the Nano, are all uh, zinc-plated. Uh, the Nano itself is overall length of 5.63 inches, overall height 4.17 inches, overall width 0 0.90. The barrel is 3.07 inches, sight radius is 4.92 inches. It does have three-dot low-profile sights, as you can see here and both front and rear are fully adjustable for windage Beretta also offers uh, night sights I believe they're Trigicon night sights uh, for $105 which you can purchase from their website um, MSRP on the Nano is $475 although I've seen it advertised online and in stores ranging from $369 all the way to $429 I purchased this for $399 um, so with tax out the door it was around four hundred and thirty dollars uh, some of the things that drew me to the Nano its size of course very comfortable grip although not as comfortable in my opinion to my Smith & Wesson uh, M&P shield but it is still very comfortable nonetheless I do like it uh, it is completely 100% dehorned which is a big draw for me um, as you can see no manual safeties no slide release, levers on either side, absolutely nothing to get in the way when you're um, carrying this firearm, whether it be in a pocket or IWB, outside the waistband, however you choose to carry it. Uh, so you don't have to worry about it getting snagged on anything. Uh, a couple other features that I really like about the Nano is this dimpling here, if you will, that it has on both sides. Um, gives you a good positive um, reinforcement if you will when you're gripping the pistol you know that your trigger finger is in a safe position um, on the opposite side I use that for my thumb for my support hand when I'm holding the firearm um, this is also really good for new users um, to help them build that muscle memory uh, of holding the firearm in proper manner when presenting it uh, prior to you know being ready to fire it as far as safeties uh, like I mentioned there is no external safety it does have the drop safety here on the trigger okay uh, it does not have a magazine disconnect so you can fire it without a magazine inserted uh, let's see here the mag release is interchangeable with a simple punch you can pop it out it's three three pieces you can flip it reinsert it this assembly of the Nano is pretty straightforward. 
that's really the one area that, that I'm, I'm not happy about, or the one thing I'm not happy about, but we'll get to that. To disassemble it, you'll need to first, of course, make, the fire armor, make sure the firearm is unloaded and there is no magazine inserted. Um, just like most striker-fired polymer-framed pistols, um, you can pull the trigger to help with releasing the slide, or the Nano does have a striker deactivator, okay, that right there, a little pin. So using a little punch, we'll go ahead and depress that, okay. And the reason for that, and, and uh, Beretta recommends using that is because they do not recommend dry firing the firearm, okay, or dry firing the Nano without, uh, at the very least, snap caps in it. Um, they say repeated dry firing without snap caps will cause um, damage to the uh, striker pin. Um, okay, so now that we've made sure the firearm has been decocked, or the striker has been deactivated, I should say, this little flathead looking lever is what we're going to use. So using preferably something that's um, plastic so you don't mar the finish as you can see it's already been marred here a little bit just from the couple times that I've done this. Um, you would insert it quarter turn counterclockwise and as you saw there how it just kinda shot forward. Okay, That allows you to pull it out pretty standard here there's the uh, the chassis, stainless steel chassis that's removable. Um, this, the barrel and slide, pretty straightforward. Guide rod with spring, and you've got your barrel there. Um, the guide rod is plastic, which I do plan on replacing because I do not like plastic guide rods. To reassemble it, again, pretty straightforward. Now, once you put this back on, once you put the slide back on, see that little lever will kind of go into place once you slide it all the way back. You can see now it's back to um, you know the correct position where you can operate the firearm. One final thing I'd like to do is go ahead and weigh the firearm and we'll weigh it with and without magazine so we can kind of get a good comparison here. Okay. With magazine of course unloaded. One pound three and seven eight ounces Okay, so that's 19 ounces, 19 and 7 eighths, just shy of 20 ounces. Without magazine, we're looking at one pound, two and a quarter ounces, so 18 and a quarter ounces. And then the magazine itself, just in case you're curious, is one and five eight ounces. And uh, there you have it, it's the Beretta Nano. Let me know if you guys have any questions, concerns, comments. Uh, if I missed anything, go ahead and let me know. And uh, thanks for watching.